Hi there, my shooby doodlers, and I really don't know what to do today. I'm kind of running out of time. Um, this is recorded on Saturday, because then I'm going to be away Tuesday, Wednesday thing. So I'll have to. I'm getting this recorded and set up. Um, and I'm. I, I really am running out of time, and I'm having a real long think about kind of what the videos that I'm going to be doing. I'm. I'm. I'm starting a huge, great project of all my books. I'm going to start putting on iPad now. Um, so, so I think, you know, I might be showing you quite, I might show you quite a lot about the characters and, and, uh, and, and how I work that, uh, as time in the future. Um, interestingly, I've had, had, had a question. I cannot find it. So I don't know who sent it to me about kind of drawing characters and things like that and stuff from your head and saying, what's the difference between the kind of thing that I do kind of illustration which is kind of cartoony and from my head and what's the difference between that and realistic um, uh, uh, art which I suppose is kind of, you know, well I think you know what I mean by realistic don't you um, and I think the thing is that to do what I do you, I think you have to kind of know how to draw things properly and you need to have drawn lots of things to have built up the the vocabulary of of how to draw things and you kind of built up you know I've got a load of stuff in my head and I think I can I can pull things down and go yeah I, I'll use that building I'll use that thing the things that I've drawn before and I my hand has kind of learned to move and produce those drawings if that makes any kind of sense at all and I can kind of pull these things down from a library because they're drawings that I've they're not straight copies of things I've done before, but I can build on the things that I've drawn before and I know how to draw it. Um, and then I spend an awful long time kind of developing my own style, which uh, which is hard work. Um, and I think I, I I think a lot of a lot of art is hard work. And I think uh, many, many people uh, think that you should be able to just sit down and do a drawing especially people kind of watching drawing videos on YouTube uh, and they come and sit down and watch a speed drawing oh yeah that's amazing but of course the speed drawing isn't like that at all. it's actually about two hours long and and if it's a really amazing kind of drawing you probably find the artist has done pencil sketches and practiced things and um, you know it's very rare that you can just draw something just like that so uh, so it's years and years of practice and all the time that you're drawing, you're building and building and building on your experience. So uh, that's my answer to that. Johnny Spartan again uh, followed up about uh, the tone and the colour last time. So he was asking about greys and things like that. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick little, show you a quick little thing about um, using grey watercolour. Now, I'm going to show you a character from one of my books called <laughs> Rex, uh, the, the Rex Files. And this is Frankie. Rex and Frankie investigate supernatural things going on in the animal world. And, uh, and I'm going to start putting these on iPad quite soon. But originally they came out in books and I should have one here to show you, but I haven't. Okay, I'm using this colour here. It's not a colour, it's, really, it's a shade of black, but it's not a shade of black. That's the thing. It's, it's called neutral tint and it's a kind of a blue black and I love it I use it a lot um, mainly because I draw um, when I drew these books um, they were published in black and white okay because that's cheap when you publish in color you got to print three times uh, and you got to print the, the, the three colors and then black on top and so it kind of costs more so my kind of book that I write um, are kind of cheap and cheerful and they're, um, they're black and white. 
But you can either do line drawing or you can do tone. And, and, and for a change, I wanted to do some tone. And, and I found that this shade, Neutral Tint, um, it scans really well. And I was doing a lot of kind of touching up in Photoshop. And um, it just suited me perfectly. Hang on. I'll have a little bit darker, adding a bit more into it. So this is kind of filling in the shadow inside his ears. Uh, Rex, Rex is very snooty and um, nothing scares him at all. But Frank is, Frank is actually allergic to being scared. Uh, and every time something scary happens, he sneezes, which of course gives away their hiding place, which is no use, is it really? And uh, so, which means that Rex gets to use his catchphrase, uh, catchphrase every week, so each, each time. So every time in each book, when uh, Frankie sneezes, Rex says, "Use your hanky, Frankie." So that's kind of one of the catchphrases, and um, that's the nose in there and I just put a little kind of hint around there and then I'm going to leave a, a little bit of white for the kind of highlight there and it's bleeding up there and you know I don't really mind about that some people will get really really upset and <laughs> you can see the colour here is sort of bleeding up into the um, and I just kind of swoosh it around a bit. And, um, but that's kind of my style. Some people would want to be absolutely perfect. Uh, whereas I'm a little, I don't know, some might say slapdash. Uh, <laughs> I would prefer to say something like uh, spontaneous. How about that? Spontaneous. Yes, I much prefer that. I think that's... That's good. So I'm going to do that. I'll put a little flick under there and a little bit of shading underneath this uh, collar. But then this collar needs to be a bit more. It's a bit more kind of 3D to it. And I'm doing this, my same old trick. I'm constantly drying my. Uh, <laughs> I'm constantly drying my paintbrush on my jeans here, which are getting covered in paint. It's a habit I haven't done for a long time. Uh, that's because I'm kind of doing this. But I suppose I used to do that when I did these books. Um, and so uh, I'm just going to do the eyes. Now, what I do with the eyes is I put a little kind of curve around like that, and then across like that, and then clean the brush and drag the paint down and you get that lovely kind of liquid eye like that. So kind of a bit of a curve across there like that. And try and keep that little bit of white in the eye there as well because that keeps the, sh the shininess. I missed it there. I'd have to go back and do that on Photoshop. Or something. And um, um, with the nose as well, I might just put a little bit more in there like that and then just kind of pull it down with wet clear water uh, a bit more in there more under there probably a bit more like that and i'm just going to put some little kind of wiggle wiggle lines like that and there's Frankie. And I've, uh, I've, got, <laughs> I've done various versions of this because I kept um, forgetting to turn the camera on. <laughs> There's another one. So um, that's done in grey. Now there's something else you can do. I'm going to put a bit of brown. There's a thing about watercolour is that it's transparent. I've put a bit of orange in there as well. I think. Maybe a dash of yellow just to brighten it up. Um, see, with that grey, what you can do is, and this I think is what Shiny Spartan was talking about, was kind of building tone underneath the colour, which, well, I mean, I've actually got a lot of, a lot of tone underneath here. Um, so this is kind of, 
some to sell. I mean, if it was much lighter, then of course it would be uh, not so dark. That's the word. Kind of, it's not bright, is it? I don't think, but it's it's a way of doing it. And it shows how you can um, use, you know, tone underneath your watercolour to uh, to build it up. Right there. Um, maybe have something a bit darker up in there and in there. And then let's see what happens if I give him blue eyes. Um, see if that works. And of course, I still want to leave the the white shown for the highlight. And that's looking quite different. And then if you put a bit of pink in his mouth. So it, it gives a different kind of thing. It's kind of like a, a coloured in sepia tone pay, uh, photograph. One of those old fashioned hand coloured photographs, doesn't it? So, uh... oh, what about the competition? Uh, the robot competition is closed. And I've got all your entries and uh, I forgot that I was going to go away when, <laughs> when the competition closes. So uh, when I come back, I'm going to sort all that out. So uh, you're just going to have to wait. Meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.